Oh my god. <laughs> you need a drink. Okay. Does my room look nice? Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's Dave. It's Dave. And I'm gonna teach you how to self-study AP Environmental Science. Okay. So, like, this year I self-studied AP Environmental Science. I got the book from my sister in, like, March. And I took it and I got a four. So, um, I thought I was gonna fail, but I didn't, which was really great. So I'm just gonna teach you, like, some tips and tricks, like, self-study AP Environmental Science. And this was the first AP I self-studied. So, I got a four, which was pretty great. Kinda wanted the five, but it's okay. I used the Barron's book. It's the sixth edition which I'm pretty sure is like the 2015 version. I basically like used this entire book. Like I used everything. Um, wait, let me show you. Oh my God. Yeah. Like highlighting, writing notes, annotating, writing along like the margins over here like this. Lots of highlighting. Like all this yellow highlighter, like it wasn't me. The orange highlighting was from me. So as you can tell, I don't highlight a lot. Like I only highlight what's important. Um, there's a lot of diagrams in here. Lots of vocab, lots of vocab. And there's practice tests. There are four full length practice tests. There's a quiz after every chapter, which is 20 questions long. And there's a practice FRQ after every chapter. I didn't do the practice FRQs. Like, it, I just didn't feel like it. I just um, went to the college board. I did FRQs from like 2000, wait, hold on, let me check. I wrote it down. So I did FRQs from 2012, 2014, 2015, 1998, and um, 2017, but very roughly. 2017, I didn't like actually do, like I looked over the um, FRQ material just to make sure that I like knew what I was like expecting. So for the AP test, like for the first FRQ question, there's a document based question. They basically give you a document and you have to like, um, identify like vocab and stuff. You just have to know vocab. Questions like why and how, like why are native plants like good for the soil or the environment or something. So that was a question on um, this year's FRQ and I had no idea because it wasn't in this book. So um, I totally forgot to like include the other types of FRQ questions that you're gonna encounter during the AP exam. So um, after the DBQ, you're gonna be given a math question. You're either gonna like analyze the data set, do some like unit cancellation, stuff like that. This year we had to do like unit cancellation and the factor label method. So I recommend knowing like conversions, how to do the math. So I had to turn on my Christmas lights because it was getting really dark outside, but it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. So I don't think you should stress so much about it. Like, it's just simple math, you're gonna do fine. Sometimes, like, the FRQ is just like, what's the value at this point in the graph? Like, you just have to, like, look over previous FRQs. For the last two questions, there's four questions in total. For the last two questions, you're gonna be given, um, a prompt, and you're gonna have to write, like, two short essays on it, but it's mainly just identifying and, like, explaining concepts and processes and, like, vocab. Okay, so that also brings me um, to the fact that you should definitely get more than one book. I seriously, like, regret not getting, um, two books. I don't know, I just stuck to one book because I wanted to be money savvy, but in reality, like, it's 15, 20 more dollars. Like, this book alone won't cover, like, everything you need to know. Like, I recommend getting two because there might be some stuff in, like, the other book that, um, wasn't listed in this book, so... Yeah, definitely recommend getting two books. Like, I just took a lot of notes. Lots of notes. I love doing these sticky notes. Like, drawing diagrams. Like, um, biomagnification, bioaccumulation. Stuff like that. I made these, like, cute little diagrams for, like, the cycles and stuff. Okay, um, oh my god, I totally forgot to explain what AP Environmental Science is. So AP Environmental Science is basically like, I don't know how to describe it, it's just basically teaching you about like, the environment. How humans interact with the environment, how animals interact with the environment, different types of like, um, what do you call those? Regions? Ecosystems! Well, I'm, I'm dumb, okay. Earth systems and resources, the living world, which is like, ecosystems and cycles population, um, land and water use, like agricultural use, 
forced use, mining, fishing, stuff like that, and how humans are contributing to, like, um, the overuse of, like, the land and stuff. Energy, energy was a big one. You need to know your energy. Know your energy. <laughs> that was the hardest thing for me, energy. Um, pollution, yeah. Pollution, it covers roughly one-fourth to, like, 30% of the exam's material, so definitely no pollution. And global change, like ozone, global warming, biodiversity, stuff like that. And, um, yeah, I really recommend taking biology honors, or, like, AP biology as a prerequisite. And also, I recommend taking at least, like, one year of chemistry, because... I took chemistry honors this year, and some of what we were learning in class, like, um, LD50 chart, the LD50 chart, yeah, we were learning about prescription medications in, um, chemistry, like, me studying for AP Environmental Science, I already, like, knew what LD50 was, so it was really easy for me to be tested on that. Also, chemistry gives you a basic outline of what you should know, like, nitrates, nitrites, because there's a lot of, like, chemical formulas and like um, chemical compounds in the pollution section that you need to be aware of and especially the cycles like the phosphorus cycle, sulfur cycle, yes just a bunch of cycles in there. Wait hold on let me show you. Oh something like the formation of industrial and photochemical smog. That's just a bunch of chemical equations right here too. Yeah so there's a fair amount of chemistry in there and for biology, um, I took bio honors in freshman year, and um, it kind of helped me out because I knew the basics, like ecosystems, the layers of the atmosphere, interactions like mutualism, communal, commensalism, uh, parasitism, um, food webs, food webs. There was an FRQ about food webs, and um, good thing I took bio. Oh, succession too. Like for the sulfur cycle, like these chemical formulas right there. Okay, yeah. So chemistry and bio, good prerequisites. Um, what else? Sorry, I took notes just so I wouldn't forget. How I studied for the exam was taking a bunch of practice tests. There was one full-length practice test back in like 1998, I think, that was released. And then I took a lot of FRQs, as I stated earlier, I took five. Four, four or five. I took four or five FRQs, and I really recommend taking FRQs because it really gives you an idea of what you should study for the free response questions because um, you'll know what they're looking for. You'll know like what vocab terms to use, what vocab terms pop up the most. Yeah, it just gives you a relative idea of what the graders are looking for, especially in the scoring guidelines. Um, you should definitely check like the student responses just to see like how the students worded it. If the AP graders ask you to write one example, they'll only take the first example on the question. So in the Barron's book, I took one multiple choice exam and I did really badly on it. Like, I think I got like a 45 out of 100. Yeah, it was really bad. Also, I never did any of these like free responses at the end of each chapter, but you definitely should look at, like if you're not doing the free responses at the end of the um, chapter, I recommend that you at least look at the answers to the free response because it'll help you out a lot. Doing the free response questions yourself give you like um, a better idea of what you did wrong and how you like how to word it better or like use a term in the right context. Oh, quick review checklist. I really recommend looking at this just to know like the basics. Like if you don't know this stuff then you should keep on studying. So I did the quizzes at the end of the chapter. Yeah, um, that's how I studied from the book. Taking notes, underlining, annotating, just whatever helped me memorize. Um, I also recommend Quizlet because there's like so much vocab. Um, what else? Don't slack off on the FRQ. The FRQ literally gives you so many points. It's much easier than the multiple choice in my opinion. The multiple choice, like, like buy. It could mean the difference between like a three and a four, a four and a five, or like a two and a three. Also, I really recommend online resources. I haven't used them. Oh wait, no, I used them, I'm just kidding. So I used Bozeman Science. Oh my gosh, he is literally the lifesaver. He is the GOAT. He is 
amazing. Just look him up on YouTube. He has like this whole um, video series about AP environmental science and um, I basically binge watched them the day, two days before the exam and it really helped clear stuff up and like know what was going on because I was confused most of the time but Bozeman Science like really cleared it up for me and looking up online resources like cram sheets, um, practice tests. Whenever I was in French class I looked up AP Environmental Science practice quizzes. Yeah, Bozeman Science, you're the real one. But now I'm gonna share like my friend's tips with you that also took the AP exam and got good scores. We all passed so that was great. Um, you should start very soon because like there's a lot of vocab and you're gonna need time to absorb and actually like learn the info. You should study like every day, at least like 30 minutes. I recommend studying a week before, like hardcore studying the week before or like two weeks before just so you could like get that last bit of info into your brain. Who is chemistry like a bot? I don't know her. Don't stress about it. You're gonna do fine. Like I promise like as much as you think like you're gonna fail, like you probably won't. As soon as you're done with the multiple choice, you're gonna feel like the world is crashing down on you and like you're not gonna become like an environmental scientist anymore or you're not gonna get the score that you want. You will, like I promise you're gonna pass this exam and you're gonna get the score you want and there's nothing you should worry about because everything's gonna be fine. It's not that bad. So APES is really random. Some of the FRQs have similar vocab, but most of the time they don't. You don't know what you're gonna get, so it's best to study everything than like the few things. So that's all the tips I have and that me and my friends have. If you have any more questions, then make sure to like leave them down below because I'll definitely be sure to answer them. Um, if you have any questions about the material and like want me to clarify some stuff, I'd be happy to. Shout out to Study to Success, Estella. Shout out to Estella. She made a how to get a five in AP environmental science video. Um, and I was kind of inspired to like do the same. So shout out Estella. Um, also congrats on getting into Vanderbilt. But yeah, that's how I studied. Um, hopefully that helped you guys if you were like looking like tips on how to study. I really recommend taking AP Human Geography with this course because a lot of the material is like overlapping. Like human interactions with the environment is covered in human geography as well as environmental science. And like population is also covered in AP Human Geography and environmental science. I didn't. I took AP Psych this year so that didn't really help. You're gonna do good on this exam. Don't let anybody tell you differently because you are gonna get a five. You're gonna get the score you want. You're gonna go to college and go to the college you want. Yeah, but peace out. Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top. When they say I'm not high, all these lies need to stop. Cause I'm icy, wifey. Haters wanna fight me. Never been the one get RP up on a white tee.